Hi guys. In today's vlog or weekly vlog, but we're sitting in the car headed to Walmart because I was supposed to get um, like the popsicle molds delivered to the beach house um, because I wanted to make our own popsicles, which I just thought was like a fun summer activity, healthy snack. It's literally 95 degrees today, like not joking, so it's really hot. Um, they ended up getting delivered to my house at home, so I don't have them, so I forced Pat out of the house to go to Walmart and find some, um, but we're also going to the grocery store to get ingredients to make dinner tonight. I think that we're gonna make salmon bowls for my parents, um, so we don't have any of that stuff, so we're gonna go get it. That'll be the toll. Over the bridge, over the Margate Bridge, here we go. together now I feel like it's just the road trip vlog we're doing the same thing because what? take me back I know. Road trip. all right we we are shit out of luck went to Walmart and they didn't have any so basically I'm just gonna reorder them and have them delivered tomorrow so that I can do this tomorrow instead because I'm an idiot so fine um so yeah i'm gonna order them again and we can make popsicles tomorrow so we got lucky um the ones i ordered on amazon were very more aesthetically pleasing i would say but it doesn't matter because we found these at acme they're like three dollars um we went to like four different dollar stores and they were all like sold out so yeah we got them we're gonna make popsicles and then the ones i have who that shipped to the wrong address i'll just get them another time but for dinner, we are making um, salmon bowls. Like I said, I'll put the picture up here so you guys can see what they're supposed to look like. Couldn't find edamame at um, Acme, but instead we got rice, brown rice, because my mom really only likes brown rice and she doesn't like regular. We got scallions, which is part of the recipe, so we were able to find those. Salmon, down there we got four pieces of like five ounce, five ounce salmon. And then this is actually for popsicles that I'm going to make. It's like a key lime, more like a, what's it called? Like not a popsicle, but like what's, like um, Frozen yogurt. Yeah, like a frozen yogurt. So we got Greek yogurt with vanilla in it to make it taste good, like a treat. So, you know, like a treat, babe. <laughs> like a treat. <laughs> I'm going to make these popsicles in this little thing. As you can see, it's like something that you had probably when you were a kid. Um, and it comes with these little four, you know, sticks. Um, this is just a very basic one, like I said, but I have Greek yogurt for vanilla Greek yogurt so that I didn't have to add sugar because they wanted to have a little bit of taste. These are going to be key lime or lime Greek yogurt popsicles. So we have a lime, we have vanilla Greek yogurt. Um, it says use condensed milk and sugar, but since our vanilla yogurt already has that in there, I'm not going to use that. Just kind of feel like this snack is a good dessert a little bit of a healthier alternative and especially while it's so freaking hot here here since it's like 90 degrees um it's just like a good refreshing a little dessert that i saw on pinterest and i was like that's cute i'm gonna do it so here we go all right i'll show you guys the recipe um up here but since this calls for 10 or this is making 10 pops i'm gonna cut it in half um we're just gonna make five actually four because i only have four so I'm, instead of two and a half cups, I'm just gonna put in a little bit more than one cup of Greek yogurt in here. Perfect, oh, I love Greek yogurt. I never really eat it, but this is such a treat. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. Okay, we're supposed to put half cup of sweetened condensed milk. I'm just gonna use a little bit of oat milk just to make it a little bit looser than it is. Literally just a tiny bit pouring in there. I'm really just eyeballing this and making it my own. Going to squeeze about half a lime. All right, and then we added lemon zest, but I didn't have a grater, so lime zest, thank you. But Pat basically just cut them up um, into like little tiny pieces. So now we're mixing it together, and you're supposed to add sugar, but I don't think I'm gonna add any more sugar, because I don't want them to be too sweet. All right, decided to throw a few frozen blueberries in there just to kind of change it up, and make it our own. So we're just gonna mix them all together. We have a few more coming. Okay, clipped them on. Now we're putting them in the freezer. Hopefully they could be ready by tonight. Are you gonna have one? Uh -huh. 
There is Greek yogurt in there. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. The batter. It's like licking the Best batter ever. <laughs> What's it like having your daughter and son in law cook for you every night? I have to tell you, I love you guys. It's just a very. Um, Best date. It ever. is. It's very special. Good. Yeah. We like doing it. No, I, I mean that sincerely. I know, good. Like, yeah. I hope I like that you like it. it. I'm proud of you guys. You know, I'm proud to call you my child. <laughs> I want your first little bite reaction before I try it. Uh, I'm gonna give you a reaction. It's gonna be <laughs> incredible. Okay. I'm so excited. So we have salmon, rice, broccoli, avocado, toasted sesame seeds, and then the sauce is like There's scallions. Is like yeah. soy sauce, sesame oil, maple syrup. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Stop. <laughs> it's going on the vlog. That's terrible. Is it good? It is. It's good. It's outstanding. Wow. It really is. <laughs> there is so us. much hope. Any. There's so any much night. hope here. Okay, I'm gonna go eat it. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we're trying to get these out, but this is happening, so... But somehow, I really need... It needs to come out that way. I cannot eat it with a spoon. Gosh, good morning, guys. Um, so this morning, we did a workout, like usual. It was hard because it's really hot out, but I'm about to shower now, and then I'm actually going to show you how I do my sleek hair routine, I guess. Um, a lot of you have been asking for that specifically, and I did, I'm just going to do an updated version because I do have one, but, oh my god, I'm out of breath from literally walking up the steps. <sighs> okay, I'm going to do an updated version because I just use different products now, um, and I'm going to be shooting later tonight, so that's how I'm just going to do my hair for that. And then later today, I'm going to show you a little try-on haul with glasses, um, so just have a few pieces, like mid-summer pieces that are really cute, and I want to show you guys those. And you've also been asking for try-on hauls, so we're going to do that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go shower and then get into the hair. Okay, we are here and I'm going to show you guys how I do my sleek bun tutorial, which I'll put a picture right here so you can see what I'm talking about if you are not sure. I'm gonna go through all the products that I use and really what I like, the easiest part about this is that my hair is dirty. Um, I have not washed it. I think this is the third day, so it's a little bit greasy. Um, usually I can't go more than like two or three days without washing my hair. Like it has to be in that sleek bun if I'm gonna do anything, so. That is kind of my go-to for dirty hair. And it's super, super easy, and you need like a few ingredient, a few products. Ingredients, I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first product is this way dry shampoo, super dry shampoo. I'll put a little picture right here so you can see it better. Um, I like this one, I have pros, I have a few others, but it just depends what you know, you're used to and what you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake that, spray it all throughout my hair. Not a ton, but enough that I can just get like, you know, it's a little bit too greasy right now. All right, I'm gonna take this bristle brush right here. Um, I got this one off Amazon, I can link it, and I like this one because it really like, when you brush your hair, um, it really just kind of grabs all of it together and makes it really smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush it forward. Okay. Ooh, yikes, greasy hair. Okay, so now that my hair is kind of brushed through with the dry shampoo, let it sink in a little bit there. It smells amazing. Um, today I'm going to be doing the one with no part. So it's going to be straight back, sleek hair, and a little bun, um, kind of like a medium low centered on my neck. So I'm just going to brush it all back. Okay, so before I um, go ahead and put it up, I'm going to use this Whey Finishing Cream, and I like this one. I also have a Revlon one, and I think another one, but this one works really, really well, like more recently, so I'm gonna use this. 
and I'm gonna do it before and after. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see this, about that much, and run it through the sides and the top of my hair. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just start brushing. And as soon as I have it all together, I will use a little thin hair tie first, and then I usually wrap it with a scrunchie after. Okay, so I pretty much have sleeked it all the way back with my brush, and I would say, um, you know, there's little flyaways here and there, but you can kind of get them out after. So I'm gonna take a little thin hair tie, and I'm just gonna tie it back just so that we have the base tied. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope that you can. I have looped it through with a hair tie. That way I can take my scrunchie and really wrap this piece of hair around so that there's no little pieces coming out and it kind of just looks all put together in the back. Honestly guys, it's a little bit sloppy today and I have to say that this is a more of a sloppy type of hair do. I'm not even wearing makeup right now and I think it looks better when you are wearing makeup. Um, in the back, it definitely never looks as good as it does in the front, but the whole idea of that hairstyle is to be able to enjoy um, summer without getting hair in your face and it's just a really quick and easy go-to. So next, what I'm going to do is take a little bit more of the finishing cream, the whey finishing cream, even a little bit less than last time. And I'm going to get like these little flyaways really, really close to my skin. I don't want any of those. And on the top, I'm using my camera as my mirror. I have a big one here, but oh, I have these little blonde baby hairs from the sun. Okay, so it's pretty sleek right now. Last step is going to be the Way Matte Pomade. You can't really see it. And I'll put a little image of it right here. Um, this I use the tiniest bit and it really just holds those flyaways down I would also use this if I wave my hair and I use it on the ends to make it like give it more texture But it's also just like sticky so it kind of holds down those little flyaways Okay, and then lastly I have two bobby pins and this is just because I have shorter pieces and I like to Pin these back so that they aren't kind of annoying me and getting all over the place and falling down And this is just really because I want the really sleek look sometimes I leave them down and it gets a little messier and I don't mind that but To show you guys the full look. I'm just gonna pin them back And I'm really lazy about it like I'm barely looking but you can kind of tell that they're pinned back and there we have it And sometimes I will use a little clip to pin the back pieces, but probably not gonna do that today um so yeah, and you can see like a few of these pieces come out if you want to just stick them back in the scrunchie, like obviously that. Perfect. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a try on haul for you guys in a little bit. So I will be wearing this and hopefully put a little bit of makeup on my face. I have a little bit of makeup on and the sleek hair is still staying intact. I'm going to, I have a few items here that I wanted to do a little try on haul, kind of just show you what pieces I got. Um, and these, all of these pieces are from Glassens. Pretty sure I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and they're all just like very good midsummer pieces. I have one bathing suit um, and I'm just gonna get right to it and show you guys. So the top that I'm wearing that has these cute little like four buttons that go down the middle of it. Um, it's a knit tight sweatery so i'm going to show you guys right here kind of what it looks like and with the shorts that i'm wearing that you can't see here but you'll be able to see in this little clip um and they're just like these comfy blue shorts i actually had that green pair that i ended up cutting that looks so similar to this but these are obviously done like professionally and way better so pairing these two together which is just super cute and cozy and comfy um and then i have this top so this top actually matches this cami that I'm wearing. They come as a set, or actually they come sold separately, but you can buy them together, which is what I got. Right, so you guys will see it on me right here. And it kind of just really complements the whole outfit well, puts a little cardigan over it. I would wear this like on a date with Pat and to kind of cover it over to, if I'm like chilly at night. Um, and then honestly, just putting this over like a white tank too with jeans or something, I think would make, that look really cute it doesn't have to go with the top that i'm wearing here so cute little set next item that i have is this cropped black top and it has so there's this little button here which you guys will see in the picture in the and it has like a little circle in the front which kind of gives it just like a different detail than a regular crop top it's almost like a bodysuit without the bottom part of it um so really cute definitely gonna wear that with like jeans um 
I don't know, there's obviously a ton that you can do with it, but you'll see what it looks like. Okay, next is this dress. It is a collared blue with a white like ribbed type feel. It's all knit. Everything I got here is basically knit. This is the bottom of it. So it's a very stretchy, loose fit, lightweight. I think I'm gonna actually shoot this tonight. I'm trying to figure out which shoes to wear. I definitely would wear like my Birkenstock sandals or even sneakers or anything. So yeah, super cute. Okay, next up is another sweater dress. This one has more of a knit feel. Um, it's more sweatery, like I think you could even wear this going into the fall, which is kind of cool. Kind of like really versatile in that way. Um, and then the bottom has a little bit of a crimped edge. And yeah, I love this one. It has like a, a loose neck, so it's not a turtleneck, but it does come up high, which I really like. I like high necks. Oh, my TV's going on in the back. And guys, all of these pieces are like super, super affordable. Um, I can link, I'm gonna link them all below in the description. So they're all really affordable. They're all usually, a lot of them are on sale. The ones that go out the most are these shorts that I showed you in the beginning, like the sweat shorts. Like they're always selling out quickly and they have them in a ton of other colors as well. So the last piece is a bathing suit. This is the top, which is so cute. There's a picture um, of another influencer wearing this already and I loved it on her. So I ended up getting this one. And this is the bottom. So it's like a cheetah print. Um, and it's just more of like a mature cheetah print than one of like the cartoony ones, which I really like because I just feel like it looks more like cheetah and more real. Um, and then it has a high back, which you guys can probably see here. Um, it has a high back and it's kind of like a triangle uh, goes inward. Uh, I don't know, you can tell on me too. So it has it comes high above your hips, which I really like in bathing suits because it makes your legs look longer. So really love these pieces together. That is everything for the little try on haul. There was only a few pieces here today, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing the next like month in the summer and what looks good and what I'm buying. So I hope you guys like that. I'm gonna link everything below. And I like to do these really quick because I just feel like get to the point and that's really it. More to this vlog. I'm gonna go try and get those ice pops out of the containers because I couldn't yesterday. So I'll show you that as well, but okay. See you guys in the next little haul, and I hope this was helpful and useful. Bye. Popsicle out. Here it is. Look how it's like tie-dye with the blueberries. Um, literally having to run them under hot water because they're so frozen that they would not come out. But, yay. Okay, you can keep one in there. Do you guys want one? So I'm sitting outside. It is the next morning. Got my coffee. And I'm gonna end the vlog here, but I just want like sometimes I feel like when I vlog I Like do things in like little sections and then I'm like did that even like fit well together or make sense I kind of like black out while I vlog. I don't know why um, Yeah, so Hope you guys liked the try on haul we did what else did we do? I'm like, what did I even do? Try on haul we did the sleek hair, which this is not it because this is like the next day um, and then Making popsicles, which is so fun and I'll make more on my stories because I like really really Think those are cool and bring them to the beach summer snack you know so that is it for the vlog guys let me know if you're liking the weekly vlogs i feel like they're harder to do for me because i'm like i'm literally not doing that much but putting in like the little things that you guys ask to see is fun and i like doing that till next time i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye